get any error okay at run time if you get any error at run time you should have to terminate okay you should have to handle it properly or not my program should not terminate abnormally okay it should it, it should be terminate like what as we expected okay statement one to loss statement has to execute or not okay how we can handle that exception exceptions means by using some keywords okay one is like try and another one is like catch and another one is like finally is there the next one is like throw also there throw also there okay here my try and catch and finally syntactically how we can use syntactically how we can use means this try is there right it's like syntactically it's a black it's a black it looks like this it looks like this okay here you can write some problematic statements problematic statements is nothing but as a developer you know okay this particular statement may raise an exception may raise an exception at run time as a developer you know what you written right okay just assume i have some piece of code like this where okay, my name dot length my console dot logger name dot length so well, this is the problematic statement so because if name is there so fine it's working as expected it gives the length of that particular string if name is not there then the type it throws an exception or it throws an error at runtime or not yes or no that means it's the problematic statements or not wherever the problematic statements are there that problematic statements you can keep inside my try block that problematic statements you can keep inside a try block now syntactically my try block should follows either catch or finally blocks either catch or finally blocks now i'm going to write like the catch here okay catch here okay or you can write like a finally also no problem at all when this catch block is going to execute when this catch block is going to execute means whenever an exception rises at run time inside the try block then the corresponding class block is going to execute the corresponding catch block is going to execute whenever my try block throws an exception then the time my corresponding catch block is going to execute it's a general thing okay now for example inside my try block inside my try block okay this is statement 1 statement 2 and statement 3 okay after that some statements are there okay now here there has some statements are there six after that i have one more block also there finally also you can keep it okay here statement 8 and statement 9 okay here there has okay zero statement okay if this is only the code inside one of the method like a f1 we call this method first of all which statements are going to execute okay these all statements inside one method okay just you can write like one function here okay This is my zero at statement two, statement nine. Okay, this is my function. If I call my function, if I call my function like this, in the time which statements are going to execute inside my function? Okay, how many statements you written outside? Just it's going to execute, right? So that my zero at statement is going to execute, and then my try block is going to execute. So that my one okay first statement and my second statement, my all statements throws an exception or not? Why? Because the name is not there. Name is not there. Name is like undefined. On undefined, you perform some operation. Is that number? It throws an exception, right? Whenever my try block throws an exception, okay. From which statement it throws an exception? Okay, just it's going to terminate it from there. Okay, that execution is going to stop from that particular statement and execute the corresponding catch block. That means my third statement throws an exception. Okay, here my exception rise. Okay, then. My six and my seven statements will execute or not? Why? Because okay, here exception rise corresponding catch block is this one. Okay, and then and then six and seven executed and then exception rise or not? It's not a matter. My eight and nine lines are going to execute or not? Eight and nine lines are going to execute. In you know, my zero at statement is like this. Name equals to such. Name equals to such. For example, okay, which statements are going to execute now? Which statements are going to execute? The first two statements executed, and then my try block is going to execute. Okay, first and second, and my third statement is like name dot length. Yes, my name is there, so that such is going to execute. Okay, now there is no exception raised. There is no exception raised. 
if exception raised here four and five statements will never execute will never execute so that make sure in the try black okay which statements are like a problematic statements don't keep everything in the try black if you keep everything in the try black for example these statements are like okay it, it, this four and five statements never throws an exception for example if these two statements never throws an exception then why you need to keep inside the try black don't put that on problematic statements only you can keep it okay if you put like four and five statements also in, inside the try black if they are raised in the third statement okay then the time four and five statements will never ever execute why because okay exception already raised the execution terminated okay then my corresponding cache block is going to execute for example think here my console dot log of one Okay, the next one is like console dot log of two. These are the two statements four and five. These statements will never throws an error why? because simple static value is going to print in the console. These four and five statements never ever throws an exception. These are not a problematic statements. Then why you need to keep inside these pocket okay, try block? Don't keep these things inside the try block. Why? Because if exception raised, my name is like none defined. Now. Zero statement executed. One and second. Okay, first and second statements executed. My third statements throws an exception. If exception raised, these problematic statements. These are not a problematic statement. Still, my execution is going to stop here. It is going to execute my corresponding cache block and then my final block. So that is it recommended to keep four and five statements here in the try block. Never. It should not. Okay, only the problematic statements only you have to keep inside the try block. Okay. Now, if you put like an equals to such an name equals to such in okay now the first statement the statement is going to execute my first and second is going to execute my third is like name dot length yes it's going to execute and my four and five there is no exception raise nothing so that four and five is going to execute now my cash block will never execute why because when my cash block is going to execute my try block throws an exception then only my corresponding cash block is going to execute and finally okay either exception is there or not there it's going to execute or not zero to five execute and eight to nine eight nine statements are going to execute or not Okay or not? Okay, this is a general thing. Okay, now my catch block we can use like in two ways. Okay, one is like once my exception is right, what is the exception message? Okay, you should know right as a developer why this particular exception is going to raise. Okay, I need that cause. Okay, so that my exception you can or my catch block you can do it like this also as a method format. Okay, now. The exception whenever the exception raised okay whenever the exception raised okay the exception raised by javascript is one thing another one is like what you can throw your own exceptions also or not you can throw your own exceptions now in this case my javascript throws an exception my javascript people why they throw an exception that exception message also they provide that message will come here that message will come here Okay, the message is like what? Okay, whatever it is here, my name is like undefined, so that my message is like this. Cannot read property length of undefined. Cannot read property length of undefined. Okay, so that that is the error message. Okay, this exception raised by whom? JavaScript people. Sometimes what happened, you know? For example, my have a salary. By scroll, we discussed. My salary is like minus something. If the salary is like negative, it should not be right. So that you can write some piece of code. If my salary is like negative, then the times. Can you throw your own exception? Why? Because my JavaScript people not handling this one. Why? You know, my salary has data or not? It's going to check which type of data. It is not a matter for JavaScript. My salary has data. That is your business requirement. My salary should not be negative. That is your business requirement. As a developer, you should have to raise an exception. You should have to throw an exception. For example, my salary is like minus hundred. Then the time you should have to raise. If my salary is less than zero, then the time You have to throw an exception. Okay, throw an error of what? Okay, just you can raise your error message here. What is my error message? My cannot read property length of undefined. Right here, you can write like my salary. Salary should be positive. Okay, should be positive. Whatever it is, you can write it. Now see, my salary minus eleven, minus hundred. Now this particular second statement is going to throw an exception, raise an exception, so that my corresponding cash block is going to execute. Now my E is what? My E is like salary should be positive. This is my error message. Now you only throw an exception. Okay, you only return this particular error message or not? Okay, in the past it's like a JavaScript people did that work. Okay, now you did that work or not? 
this is only your business requirement. Okay, that is the way you are going to use my throw keyword to rise or you can create your user defined exceptions or not. Okay, these are all things is like a JavaScript only, right? But our goal is not this, but our goal is what? I have a React application is there. I have a React application is there that contains multiple components. Okay, if any component throws an exception at runtime while running my application, okay, due to some reason, any component throws an exception at runtime, whatever the exception, right, whatever the error is, we can say like an exceptions, right? At runtime, while running my React application, any component raises an exception. Okay, due to that exception, my application, if I not handle that ex exception, my application, total application is break or not due to that exception if I'm not handling properly. Okay, if that application, total application is going to impact it because of that particular exception, okay, then what my end user is going to what my end user is going to see that end user simply see like a blank page or not. It's obviously it's not a recommended one or not. Okay, the exception raised, it's okay, fine. This is a common thing. You written some piece of code is nothing, but yes, sometimes my exception may be raised. As a developer, you should have to properly handle that exception or not. That should not impact on your remaining pages. Okay, that should not impact on your my end user what he want. For example, exception rights use the proper message hey, because of this reason, exception raised. Okay, just wait for some time. Remaining pages should not impact. He can view that pages or not. Like this, you have to handle. It. Yes or no? The same concept we are going to use like this. First, okay, inside your application, okay. Raise an exception in one component. Inside your application, raise an exception in one component. Okay, don't handle it. Okay, if I'm not handling, then then my application has to break. First of all, break your application. And then, and then, by using an exception handling concept in your React, how we can handle it, how we can handle it properly, and then how once you handle that exception, okay, remaining pages will work or not, we'll see. Got it or not? First, create one component, Raise an exception in the component. Raise an exception in the component. Don't handle it. Okay. If you not handle it, then that time my application has to break. Okay. It's break or not. Check it. Once it is break, then that time use exception handling concept. What my React people introduce. Okay. What my React people contains the methods and everything. Just use that concepts and everything. Handle that exception. Once you handle that exception, how it is going to work, you can see. Okay. That is our requirement. Okay. Now let's start. I want one more tab, exception handling. I want one more tab. So what things you want me to do? Can anyone? I want one more tab. In which case you want me to do the change? I want one more tab. Where is that? This is only right. Can you go to your menu.js file? Don't save it. Control P. Go to my menu.js Go to my menu Okay, this is only right. These only the menu items or not. So can we add one more item? No problem. You can add it. Okay. Now the path for that particular menu item, you can decide. <laughs> so this is the text is going to visible to the end user. This is the text is going to visible to the end user. This is the text is going to visible to the end user. Maybe it's not at compiling. Uh, yeah, compile completed. Yeah, so my exception handling is done or not. Now, if I click on this one, it's like HOC. Why? Because my href is like HOC. So, can we change it? Exception handling. Okay, next. For this particular path, one component you have to map by using route component or not? One component you have to map. So, that what we what you want me to do. What do you want me to do? Can we create one component first inside this source tab? So right click on that one. Open in terminal. Open in terminal. Now my command prompt is going to open directly inside the source tab or source folder or not. Now, if you want to create a component, can anyone tell the command? Create React component. Component is the command. Okay. Exception and Okay, now once it is done, once it is done, can we add that component? Can we import that component to dynamic import? 
uh, through lazy loading, how you can import by using lazy method. Okay, by using lazy method, we can do that. Lazy is the method which is coming from where, which is coming from React library or not. Lazy is the method which take one callback function as an argument. That callback function is going to return the component, okay, return the component from this particular form. What is my fault? Exception handling is my folder. Index is the file, exported file of your component or not. Now, can we, can we hold that value, whatever my lazy method is going to return, hold with any name, any name, no problem at all. Okay, exception handling or whatever it is, whatever it is. Okay, done. Now, right here. If my path is like EH, exception handling, okay, my path is like exception handling. Both is like exception handling. Which component you want me to load? Which component you want me to load? You want component or not? Done. Now, can you come here? Can I refresh my page? Yeah. Now, this is my HOC only so that it's visible like this. If I click on the exception handling, yeah. This is the one or not? Okay. Now, yeah, all are working as expected. All are working as expected. Now, the next thing is what? You should have to throw an exception. First, break your application. So they don't handle that exception. Okay, just throw an exception. Okay, how we can throw an exception means, okay, if you want to throw your own exception, okay, I want to throw my own exception, right? If you want to throw whenever you want, how you can throw, how you can create your own exceptions, how you can throw your own exceptions by using throw keyword or not. By using throw keyword or not. Okay, based on your business functionality, if you want to throw an exception, you can throw like this, throw is a keyword, okay, by creating an object for the error class, you can provide the error message, whatever you want, you can provide it like this, you can. Okay, my requirement is very simple thing. I have one component is there, hero, hero is my component. Okay, my component name is like what, hero component. That hero component, I want to use like multiple types, okay. Whenever I'm using that hero component, okay, my text, my template should be like this. Hey, this is Superman. Hey, this is Batman. Hey, this is Spider-Man. Like this, I want to display. The text is that one. Okay, so my component is like a hero component. That one I want to use like three times. My text should be visible like, hey, this is Superman. This is Batman. This is Spider-Man. Like this, I want to display. First of all, create one component which component hero component okay see come here now come to this particular one come to this particular one mm, where you want me to create that that is related to exception handling right can you go to that exception handling can you go to that exception handling okay how you can the exception handling is my folder can we create one component called as a hero is my component uh, hero is my component yeah perfect Hero component, how many times you want me to use? Okay, how many times you want me to use? One is for what? Spider Man, Batman, and Superman. Okay, three times I want to use. So that can we get that hero component first? We go to my hero from back from my hero. Where is my hero component? Inside exception handling only, right? Hero index. Yeah, perfect. Now, hero component, how many times you want me to use? Hero is this one, my hero is this one, my hero is this one. Now, I can ask one question. Can we use like a HOC higher order components? Can we use like a higher order components? First, tell me, why we go for higher order components? If you want to share the functionality, functionality, not a template, Okay, template is different, functionality is different. Template is nothing but what? View. Okay, hey, this is Superman. Hollow world is there. That is a template I want to use 10 times is nothing but what? Create one component, reuse that component 10 times. Template reusability is done. Template reusability is done by your component. Okay, if you want to share the functionality across the components, then you can go with what? Higher order component or not. That is the main difference. Okay, 
if you want to share some content share some template okay then you can go with what then you can go with component only okay here i am sharing what a template my template is what hello this is superman that is my template with h1 tag okay here there is no functionality nothing okay then there is no need to go with what higher order component higher order component functionality if you want to share across the component okay increment the button okay okay increment the count that is the functionality that is the functionality okay here here if you see this yeah i can i can show you this is the template okay okay for my button click component button is the template and hoc is my template okay okay here this h1 is my template this button click component this is the template for this particular text over component this is the template here functionality is what functionality is like increment the count here also functionality is what increment the count that is the functional that one is done by whom which was higher order components okay here my templates are different or not so that if the templates are different i i should have to create like what two different components or not that is the reason i created like two different components great the difference yeah this is my hero component it's okay fine now come here what one you want me to show okay you want me to show like hero only no right Okay, 
consumers first. Home is working, the about is working, contact is working, service is working, HOS is working. If I click on the exception handling, okay, one of the prop values like a joker throw the so that he throws an exception. So my exception raised or not. See here, you are not a hero. This is my own exception or not. If my exception is raised, then the time my total application is going to break or not. See here, there has a cross symbol is there. Okay, cross mark is there. Just click on this one. See how it looks like. How would it look like? It's like total of a blank page or not. If I show this one to my end user like a total blank page in the time, that is obviously impact on my performance of my application or not. You can simply say like it's not good or something. Okay, give the feedback like that or not. So if I come back, okay, see this. No, nothing will work. If I come back, nothing will work. Okay, now you can confirm like what? My application break or not. Okay. Now what we have to do? What is the next step? My exception raised. Okay, what is the next step? Can anyone? What is the next step? The exception raised, you should have to handle that exception or not. You should have to handle that exception or not. Agreed or not? Okay, now how I can handle that exception? Now from here, don't go to 3000. Yeah, oh, I can handle that exception. Now, just keep aside this try, catch, finally blocks. Okay, just you have to focus on the exception raised inside one component, which component, hero component. Okay, the exception raised in one component, that component should not impact on remaining all components. Okay, that one you can keep in your mind. Okay, don't say like, okay, I can use like try, catch, and finally. Okay, that you can use if it's like a pure JavaScript code somewhere. Okay, that this one you can say like the exception raised inside a component. Then how we can handle it? Okay, come on, let's start. Now, then I want the hierarchy. The hierarchy. How it looks like? First, my exception handling is my component. Inside my component, hero is my component. That is only hierarchy or not? Yes or no? Exception handling is my component. Inside my component, what it has? Hero is my component. Again, hero is my component. Three times. Okay. Now come here. The hierarchy, if you observe, the hierarchy, if you observe, this one is like a parent or not? This one is like what? A parent. Okay, these all are like what? Okay, inside this particular exception handling component, you loaded some components, but those are acting like what? Children's or not? Children's or not? The hierarchy is like what? This is the parent one, and these are like a children's. These are like a children's. Now, another one. In my about component also, in my about component also. Okay, the same hero component I kept. The same hero component I kept. For example, think like that. The inside my about component also. Based on my requirement, I'm using like what? Hero component. Okay, this hero component. Okay, I keep inside where? Inside my about component also. About component also. Can we get it? Import. Hmm. How we can? Hero. Hero. From where? Hero and index. Index. Okay. Now come here. How many places use it like the hero component? Inside my about component as well as the home working contact is working, service is working. If I click on the about, yeah, it's gone. Okay, my hero component is used like multiple places or not. So inside one more component is what? About component also. I use like what? My hero component. My hero component. So the hierarchy is like it's a parent one. These all are like a children's or not. Children's or not. Now my exception is going to rise inside a component. If you want to handle that exceptions in your React, they introduced two lifecycle methods. They provided two lifecycle methods. What are those methods? You know, one is like get derived, derived state from error. Get derived state from error. Okay, it's like a static method. Okay, static method. The another one is like component, component did catch, component did catch. These two methods they 
provided to handle the exceptions inside a component. Inside a component. Well, now you can ask a question. Hey, I have a method is there. Okay, if it is like a life cycle method, who called that method first? Tell me. Who called the method? I'm asking one question like this. Okay, then what's your answer? The life cycle methods and everything called by you people or called by my React? Who called? Is it called externally by you? Obviously, no. Obviously, no. The life cycle method constructor, component, and did mount. Component did mount. Render. Render. The next one. Get the error state from props. Should component update. Okay, component will unmount. Okay, get snapshot before update. Component did update. These all methods called by whom? React only or not based on that particular situation? Okay, just my React is going to call that methods or not. Same like this, these also not called by you. Not called by you. Okay, called by React only. Okay, if you want to call this method, first of all, somewhere this method has to declare, right? Now the question is, where you want me to declare this method? Okay, these many components are there. Exception handling, hero. Yeah, both. Okay, multiple times you are using hero. Hero is like one component only. Three components are there. One, two, three. Where you want me to? Where you want me to? Our right are declared these methods, life cycle methods. Get their state from error. And the next one, where you want me to override. Okay. Okay. It's not the hero component. Okay. This particular methods has to declare inside the parent. Has to declare inside the parent. Why they said, you know, parent and children are there. Okay. Now, if I declare this method inside the parent, inside the parent, my parent responsibility is what? Any children has any problem. Any children face any problem. As a parent, I want to know it. I should, I, I want to know that problem as a parent. As a parent, I want to know that problem. As a parent, if I can help, okay, yes, I can do that. I can do that. So that here, Inside my exception handling, how many children are there? Here or three times are there. Three times are there. Okay, these many children are there. Any children throws any exception. Okay, any children throws any exception or any children face any problem. As a parent, I want to know. I want to know. Okay, there has something has happened to my children. Okay, that one I want to know. How I can know that means in this particular parent, if you override this particular method, this method called by React when you know any children throws any exception, automatically this particular method is going to call. That's it. Understand or not? Okay, you understand? Okay, now tell me. This get derived state from error. Okay, you override where? You declared where? Exception handling class. Get derived state from error. You declared where? Inside my about or not? Okay, component did catch also same like that only. First, just focus on one method. Okay, if you know about one method, remaining next method also same like that only. Okay, perfect. My get the error state from the error and get the error state from the error, you override where in the exception handling and about. Okay, now can you conclude one sentence? My get the error state from the error called by React. What it means? My get the error state from the error called by React in exception handling component. It means what? My constructor executed, it means what? My object created the class, created for that particular class. My get the error state from the error method called by React is nothing but what? One of my children component throws an exception or not. Agreed? Yes or no? Just vice versa, this reverse. As a parent, I want to know okay, which children has any okay, any children have any problem. Okay, how I come, how you can come to know like this, this particular method is going to call by React. Okay, if the method is called by React, is nothing but what? Okay, reverse. Okay, my children have some problem or not? My children have some problem or not? You can simply say like what? This method executed is nothing but what? Yes, my children throws an exception or not. You can conclude one statement like that or not. Agreed? My get error state from errors called by React is nothing but yes, one of the children throws an exception or not? Agreed or not? Agreed with the statement? Okay, okay then. Perfect. Next one. Now tell me, in the exception handling, you put like hero component. About, about you put like hero component like this. There has 100 components used. 
zero component. Use the zero component. Think like that. Then the time, how many places you want me to override this get error state from the error? Use is nothing but the zero component you can use like a children to another component or not. Directly you are not able to use. How many places you should have to handle this get error state from the error? How many places you have to override this method? How many places you use the zero component as a children? Okay, that many places. Okay, you should have to override that method or not. Each and every parent you should have to override that method or not. Is it the recommended one? Is it the recommended one? Okay, here also you have to override, here also you have to override, here also, here also like this. How many times, okay, multiple times you are going to override this method or not? Is it obviously recommended or not recommended? Not recommended one. Can we do one thing? Can we do one thing? Okay, just I'm going to create one more component. You can create any number of components, right? Okay. Okay, handling exception. I created one more component. One more component. Now, you override this method in how many places? Okay, this is one place, this is one place, this is one place, 100 places or that. Just I remove each and every place. 100 places I remove. Where I kept, I created one more component. Okay, I kept inside my generated state from the error method, inside my handle exception, handling exception component. Now, if any exception is occurred, then that time that parent, that parent method, that means that parent component has to, okay, has to derive that particular method, has to handle in the parent component or not, in the parent component or not. Now, this is my parent component, my hero's component, who is the parent? This is my parent component or not. But inside my parent component, do you have that particular handling exception component? Not there, right? Not there, right? Can we do one thing? Here, where is my generator state from prop? That they are from error inside my handling exceptions. So, can we do one thing? Can we make this one like a pair into this particular heroes? Yes or no? That's also will work, right? Okay. Now, this method inside this one. Okay. This method should be inside the parent. Okay. Now it's not a parent. Can you make it this one like a parent? How we can make it like a parent? Can we do like this? Handling exception. Okay. Handling exception. Inside this one, whatever you keep, okay, those are become like a children's or not. Agree? Those are become like a children's or not. Now tell me, who is the parent for hero now? Who is the parent for hero now? My parent for hero now, exception handling or handling exceptions? Okay, this this particular one. Or exception mode, you can say. Okay, which one is the parent now? My exception boundary component is my parent component or not? Now, this exception boundary component, wherever you want, you can use. These are like a problematic statements, right? Here itself, you can use it. Here itself, you can use it. Yeah. Now, who is the parent for this particular hero component? Who is the parent? My exception boundary component is the parent or not? Now, tell me, my character state from error written how many times? How many times you written? only one time or not you return only one time you make that component is like a parent now any children face any problem now my parent come to know like what by executing this particular method by react or not agreed or not okay which one is the recommended one do you want me to write this method in my each and every parent or this one right only one time make that particular component is like a parent which one is the recommended one obviously this one is the recommended way or not Yes or no? Up to, up to understand how, how we can handle will tell. Up to okay or not? Yeah, perfect. Now, can you go to my exception handling? Okay. Now, here, can we create one more component? Which component? Exception boundary component. Okay. Create that one. Okay, and this is my exception boundary. 
now inside this component what you want me to do can anyone guess inside this component what you want me to do you should have to overwrite okay you should have to override your get error state from the error or not now this particular component you have to make it like a paired to my hero components or not can we do that one first can we do that one first if i do like this then that what will happen now import import that one just leave it caption folder and x now the folder name is like a component and this one here Can we make these all or like what as a children? As a children. Okay, you can ask one more question. Okay, if you want to make it like a children, can you keep all these things in the exception boundary class like this in the JSX? Can we do like this in the exception boundary class? Okay, component. Can we do like this? Then the time these zeros are like what? Okay, these zero component is like a pair of children, right? Okay, but. If you load here, then that time my hero component is loading where inside my exception boundary component or inside my exception handling component, inside my exception boundary component or not. But our requirement is what my exception handling at the time of clicking on this particular about to tab. Okay, I want to show that heroes at the time of clicking on the exception handling like handling tab. Then that time I want to show it not exception boundary, not inside the exception boundary tab. You can make one component is like a children in two ways. One is like directly you can load here. One is like you can directly load here. Okay, if you load like this, then the time can anyone tell? Then the time this component is the children of my exception boundary or not? When this component is going to load, whenever you are using, whenever you are loading this one, okay, then then that time only this is acting like a children. It's going to load or not? Okay, but here you are loading exception boundary or exception handling at the time of clicking on this particular tab. This particular one you are loading or not? For this particular path you are binding this one, so that my exception boundary directly I am not using. So this will not work. Okay, then how we can make it is like a children in another way means okay come to my exception handling only. Here exception boundary is a element. Inside this element whatever you return is like in a hierarchy base. This one is like what children and this one is like a parent or not. This one is like a children and this one is like a parent or not. Understand or not? Same like this. Same like this. Can you go to my about? Okay. Now come here. Okay. Um, about dot JSX. Yeah. Here itself, right? Okay. Can we get that? Import. Okay. That exception handling. Here, the exception boundary, and this is my index. Now, this is the one. Okay, can you make my hero components like what? Children, this exception boundary. How we can? Can we keep inside here? Now, can anyone tell what is visible to the end user? What is visible to the end user? Is it throws an error, or what is visible to the end user? The text. The about tab and my exception handling. Okay, here, here, and here. Now, if you come here, say this home is working. My about about is working, right? It's not throws any exception or something. Contact service exception handling. Yeah, it doesn't throw any exception or not. Still, you are passing what my name is like a joker only or not. My name is like a joker only or not. Okay, is it your requirement? No, right? If I click on the about, I want that particular hero names or not. Hey, this is Superman. Hey, this is Batman. Like this or not? If I click on this one, hero names I want, not this exception boundary or not. Then how I can? What's wrong with this one? Now see, these are the childrens are okay. These are the childrens. But in this particular component, which component in the exception handling component, the exception boundary component loaded or not? Exception boundary component loaded. Inside exception boundary component, there has childrens are there. That childrens has take care by whom? Has to take care by exception boundary. But here, my hero component is like a children that is not taken care by exception boundary one. So, with respect of exception handling component, 
my exception boundary is going to load so inside my exception boundary which text is there exception boundary text is there so that that one is going to load it that one is going to load it but my exception boundary component has these children's or not that children's i want to load it then how we can get these children's how we can get these children's how we can load it okay it's a very simple thing this is my parent and this one is my children's this one is my children's now inside this particular inside this particular component if you want to get these children's how we can get means okay see this this is the component right how many ways we can pass the data means now two ways one is like mean equals to such as yeah you can pass like this you can pass like this now this data go to my exception boundary so how we can get the data we can get the data like this or not this dot prop dot Okay, yes, my session is going to be able to and yes, yeah, done. That is one way. Now you are passing this data to this particular component as a children, as a childrens. Now inside this particular component, how I can get all the childrens means there has one predefined prop is there. There has one predefined prop is there. Here, what is my prop key? Name. Okay, why? Because you are using like a name. If you want to represent the childrens, we have one of the predefined prop is there. What is the predefined prop? You know, children is my predefined prop. Children. Okay. If you want that one, you can keep it. Okay. This dot. This dot prop dot name. Okay. I want my childrens has to render. How we can this dot prop dot children. Children is my prop. Now come here. Now say this. Now it's loaded or not? If you want proof, can we remove this joker? Can we put like a spider man? Spider man. Now check. Yeah, see this. This is my exception boundary text. After that, I loaded my childrens or not? Which children should pass it to my exception boundary? Those childrens also visible to the end user or not? Is this is your in your requirement? Do you want to show this one or directly you want me to show this this is only? This is not required. Okay, then that time simply what you can do. Simply remove this one. This is not required for me. Only heroes names only I want. Okay, so that there is no need to pass the data also. Okay, like this you can pass it. One component is there. How many ways we can pass the data? One is like in the attribute format we can pass it. Another one is like what? As a children also we can pass it or not? In the attribute format, if you pass that attribute key, we can use like this dot box dot attribute key. If it is like a children's, how we can get it? The predefined attribute key is there. What is that? Children is the predefined key or not? Children is my Redefine. Okay, in the about it's also if you put like a spider man. Okay, if you put like a spider man, there is no issues, nothing. There is no issues, nothing. Yeah, so this. So click on the about. Yeah, it's just the one or not. Yeah. Okay. Now my requirement is this one only. Okay, here I want to show my heroes. Yes, my heroes only this good. Okay, okay done. Now can we handle the exception now? Or how we can handle? It? If you want to handle the exception, there has one of the predefined method is there. Which method get derived state from error? That method has to override inside my parent or not. Wait a bit now. This is my parent or not? So can we override that method? Okay, how we can override? It's the static method. Okay, my static. Okay, get derived state from error. Okay, now then. If it is like a static method, how we can update your state variable? Is it possible to update directly? No. Okay. Then how we can by returning or not? So that we should have to return something. If nothing is there, just you can return not. Return not. Now tell me. This method called by whom? This method called by React. When this method is going to call? When this method is going to call? This method is going to call by React. When this method is going to call? Yeah. This exception boundary has some childrens. Has some childrens. Any children raises any exception, then that time inside my parent, this method is going to execute or not. This method executed is nothing but you can simply say like what? Yes, one of the children throws an exception like this. You can understand or not? Okay. Okay then. By default, tell me by default. Okay. Exception is there or not there in your application? How we can conclude? By default, exception is there or not there? How we can how we can conclude? Like first time, 
okay everyone can say like accept is not there then you can say like accept is there whenever this method is executed then you can say like what okay, accept is occurred exception occurred or not like this you can conclude or not so come here just create one state variable has exception has so by default no okay there is no exception nothing is there okay then you can say like exception is there then you want me to make it is like true okay whenever this method executed okay that means exception writes then that can we make this one like a true okay so how we can update this particular state variable how we can update this particular state variable this dot set state okay my has exception is like for true or not but it's like a static context we are not able to use my instance like this so if you want to update any state variable that state variable data you can return like this okay you can remove this it's like a static context already we discussed get there or state from props same like this is going to work okay then okay okay now whenever this method is going to executed then the term you can say like exception occurred then the term we can say like what exception occurred okay if the exception is occurred then the term what do you want me to show what do you want me to show okay if exception occurred what do you want me to show okay just give one message okay something went wrong or something like okay now can you come here can you come here these are my children's right these are my children's okay when you want me to show the children's if exception is not there show it if exception is there then the time just show one message so how we can my this dot state dot has exception is there then that time i want to show one message one message Okay, if exception is not there, then the time I have to show my children. My this dot state dot has exceptions. Exception is there. Then the time what you want me to show? Okay, something went wrong. Went wrong. Okay, if exception is not there, what you want me to show? Just I want to show like what? Just I want to show like you are childrens or not? Just I want to show like your children. Now can you come here? Exception is there or not there? First tell me. Exception is raised or not in my children? Okay, hero, Superman. Okay, here Batman. Here Spiderman. Okay, there is no Joker. Nothing. Exception not raised. If exception is not raised, okay, exception not raised, then the time inside my parent, this method will execute or not execute? This method will execute or not execute? Not execute. if it is not executed my has exception is like what false if my has exception is like false so then the time this block this one this condition is going to execute or not what is that condition this dot props dot children this dot props dot children is nothing but what these are the children so these all children are going to be visible or not if exception is not there yeah okay and they have about also exception is not there now can you come to my about simply okay now i put like Okay. Now tell me, the exception is there or not there in the data? The exception is there now. If the exception is there, who is the parent? The exception boundary. Which method is going to execute? Get the error state from error. What this method is going to do? It is going to update your state variable. Why you are using like the return this one? Why not set state? Why because my set state method coming from this, coming from this, this dot set state we are calling with this. Okay, here my this is not available Why? because it's a static context. So my this is not available is nothing but we are not able to call set state. So that another way how we can update your state variable means by returning an object. So as exception is like true. If exception is there, then that time if you go here, exception is there, then that time this match is going to be visible and clear or not. Now come here, this yeah, something went wrong. You are not a hero. It's like a message. If I close this one, see this. About something went wrong. The remaining all are working as expected or not. Remaining all are working as expected or not. If I click on the about, yes, my exception rise. Okay, see, you are a hero. You are not a hero. Now, if I close this one in the past, it's showing like what blank face. Now it show like one proper message like something went wrong or not. Did or not? Now, for example, can we go here? There is that. The exception only. Okay. Come to this particular one. Here, I want to pass like a joker. Joker. Now, my exception is going to rise now or not? Now, inside this particular children, exception raised. If the exception raised, then that who is the parent? Exception boundary. 
so that go to my exception boundary which method can they escape from the error method this method is going to call here what you are doing here you are returning has exception true okay returning the value from this particular method is nothing but what it is going to update your state variable value or not so that my as exception is going to update like what true if my as exception is like true then the time this one this text is going to be visible something went wrong in stop this children or not now come to children now say this now can you go to my exception handling yeah you are you are not a hero yeah exception handling something went wrong or not Okay, remaining all are working as expected or not. Remaining all are working as expected. But here, there has some problem is there. See here. Now come here. Is this particular statement is going to raise an exception? Is this particular statement is going to raise an exception? Okay, it's like Superman, right? No. Batman, also no. Only this Joker only, right? Raise an exception. Okay, then if you show like something went wrong for all these children, all these children, okay, now it's not a meaningful not. okay my superman is not raising an exception you can show this one you can show this batman only for this joker only you can show like something went wrong or some message you can give it some message you can give it okay why not these two okay should not why, why we hold these two okay one is like superman and batman why should not show these messages properly like hey this is superman hey this is batman like this okay we can show it or not okay so how we can how we can means very simple thing this is the exception boundary class right can i do like this any problem with this can i write like this can i write this statement like this any problem so see this is my exception boundary here how many children are there one children is there now one children is there Okay, that that children throws an exception or not tell <clears throat> that children throws an exception or not that children throws an exception or not that children throws an exception or not that children doesn't throw an exception or not see here this is my children okay now you are passing like a superman okay this one is not throwing an exception if not throwing an exception then that time my has exception is like what false only if it is like false then that time my children is going to be visible or not what is my children here a hero superman or not so that now see this how it looks like okay this is superman there is no exception i think so that this is visible like okay what you are expecting the message same like this only it's going to be visible here this is batman also there is no issues but here it's like a joker so you can put like what something went wrong or not now this is not these two statements are not impact or not where exactly the exception is that that statement only can write it got it or not same like this can you keep inside my about or jsx also okay now batman there is no exception in the future maybe maybe throws an exception i don't i don't know that one okay so that just keep like this this particular one you can keep inside my exception boundary the next one is like keep inside my exception boundary now this particular one is not throwing an exception so that my has exception is like what false if it is like false then the time okay if it is true something went wrong is visible if it is like false this dot false dot children is going to be visible or not okay now can you go to my about or jsx okay yeah now come here can you go to my about can you close this one Okay, it's not still like this. Okay, now come here. See, hey, this is Batman. It's not in fact that here you pass like a Joker, so that it gives the message like what something went wrong or not. This is the way we are going to handle the exceptions. Understand or not? Okay, tomorrow I will tell like how it's going to work like of the component did catch component did catch. Okay, tomorrow we have a class at eight o'clock. Just you can join. Okay, tomorrow tomorrow I will tell. Remind uh, tomorrow I will tell again this one. Okay, how to use like component did catch? One more method also there component did catch. Okay, that one also I will explain and then we'll see. Okay, end to end flow. my react is like a client and my mysql is like a database and my node js is like a server one end to end flow okay how we can send the request to my node js my node js how it is going to insert the data into my 
mysql that one will stick that is an important one okay we'll discuss remaining things in topological thanks, thanks.